Hi there, Dr. Chris Chaplow here, uh, the acupuncturist at Healthy Ways Wellness Center in Brookfield, Connecticut. I wanted to reach out to all of you and wish you warm regards. I'm hoping you and your families are staying healthy and maintaining a well-balanced routine during these unprecedented times. I wanna give you some insight on what I'm doing for myself and what I'm doing with my current patients that have been seeking my services. I wanna give you some advice on how you can stay healthy and resilient, reduce stress and act with intention and not react with fear. First and foremost is to take this seriously. Maintain isolation, social distancing, hand washing and mask wearing. However, you have to put it into perspective and not be fearful. Stress needs to be appropriate, in proportion, timely, and balanced. Otherwise, it can cause the body to slowly break down in immune function, cognition, adrenal function, digestive function, sleep, and so on. Second is to manage your stress, of course, and get good sleep. Third, what I've been doing to help me and my patients maintain good health and balanced, immu and balanced immune system is with the use of acupuncture, eating right, and with the use of certain herbs and supplements. Although it's not going to cure the cure coronavirus, it will help your body and state of mind to make wiser choices and reduce stress through these trying times. Simple as that. Acupuncture and herbal medicine is the best way to safely and naturally help you to decrease stress and put your body into a parasympathetic state or what we call the rest and digest state rather than being in a constant state of fear and stress, which is called the sympathetic state or a fight and flight state. These modalities have a well-known and well-documented history in showing how it adjusts and balances whole body health and its direct and indirect mechanisms in improving immunity. Acupuncture and certain herbs can also help stimulate the patient's ability to resist and recover from disease. Traditional Chinese medicine has helped fight viruses in the past, such as the SARS epidemic in 2002-2003 that killed hundreds in China. Now, as far as herbs go, herbs that gently detox the body while maintaining appropriate antioxidant levels are key. It's important to be eating a colorful arrangement of fresh organic fruits and veggies. This is essential for keeping those antioxidants high. A good herbal detox program that would help de-stress the body and boost the immune system would consist of herbs such as ginseng, ginseng root, uh, which is known to strengthen and harmonize the digestive organs, has anti-stress properties that give a calming effect on the mind, and then of course have an immune, immunological effect. Dandelion root, which is known to resolve toxicity, it also has antimicrobial effects. Burdock root is also known to have to resolve toxicity and has antibiotic effects. Licorice root, which has a strong detoxifying effect, strengthens the di digestive system, resolves toxicity, has an anti-inflammatory effect, and has an anti-neoplastic effect or anti-cancer effect. So, as I mentioned with the, the stress adaptation that uh, ginseng come, ha has, there's also other adaptogenic herbs and mushrooms that can help. Adaptogenic means basically uh, substances, natural substances like herbs and mushrooms that help the body adapt to stress. Um, the mushrooms such as chaga, cordyceps, fuling, um, 
Hen of the Woods, Reishi, Royal Sun, Turkey Tail, Willow Bracket. These are all fantastic mushrooms. Um, other good supplements to think about um, would be a good whole food digestive enzyme. Um, and then some key vitamins such as, uh, and minerals, such as zinc and vitamin C, of course. Okay, now that we've gone over the herbs, I'd also like to go over a basic acupressure routine um, that will help boost the immune system. So I'd like to de demonstrate that to, uh, to you. Um, so what you can do at home to help strengthen and boost your immune system would be using these acupressure points that I'm gonna mention in just a moment. But how I would like you to do it is to either use your fingers or your thumb to press into these points and use a circular motion uh, to massage these points, okay? So let's start with kidney 27. Kidney 27, uh, the name for this point is called the Shoe Mansion. Um, and it's just under the chest, it's on the chest here. Um, you find your sternum and then you just move about two or three inches underneath your clavicle. And underneath your clavicle, you're gonna find a hollow. And in this hollow, I want you to press firmly and give some circular massage in this spot. Okay, now let's move further down. Let's move down the elbow. Okay, to the elbow crease. Here, I'll stand up. It might make it easier here. Okay. And this point is called lung five. Okay, so you're going to find the outside of your arm at the elbow crease, and you're going to come in just a little bit before you hit that tendon. And in there is a great place. It might even be tender, which is good. You want to press this and gently or firmly actually, uh, do circular pressure in this point, lung five, which is also called the cubital marsh. Okay, now let's move further down the arm on, that lung, on the lung channel, and let's get to lung seven, which is a very powerful point. And this, is, this, this point, lung seven, is called broken sequence. And the best way to locate this point is by interlocking your hands like the so and reaching for with your index finger touching your wrist and where your index finger falls basically between the sinew and the bone is where you'll find that point and there you want to gently or again firmly press this point for a few seconds to a minute and then now let's move to a popular point that everyone knows called large intestine 4 and large intestine 4 is here in the webbing between the thumb and the index finger and it's right here okay and it's a very tender point there's a little little dip in the bone and where that dip is I want you to press in there and you're gonna it's gonna be tender but go ahead and Press in firmly and give those circular massage movements there. Okay. From there, oh, and this point, large intestine four, is called joining valley. So let's move on and we're going to go further down. The next point here, you're going to drop down to your thigh. And I'm going to back up here so that you can see what I'm doing is where your middle finger touches your thigh, the side of your thigh, you're going to move slightly anterior to this aspect of your, of your quadricep or your thigh, and you're going to press deeply. It's going to be tender, but that's good. You want to deeply touch, press, and do those circular motions. Okay? And then lastly, is oh, and that point is a powerful master tongue point, okay? Um, it's just another, it's a very special point, and it's, it's an extra point. 
Now the last point is stomach 36, which is called three miles of the foot. And that's located, actually it's difficult to show you in this picture, but it's just below the knee. And I could point it out on my little model here, just below the knee in the little space right here. And that's where you want to do your acupressure. So, <clears throat> so I want to thank you. Um, that's, that's going to be a great acupressure routine that you can do at home, um, along with those other things we spoke of, um, eating right, sleeping right, um, keeping the stress down, doing your due diligence with, with social distancing and all of those things. Okay. So again, thank you for taking the time and watching this video. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you would like to set an appointment or have, um, or have a virtual video wellness treatment that I'm doing now during these times. Um, I wanted to let you know that here at Healthy Ways, we are taking universal precautions. Um, we're using masks, gloves, and we're constantly sanitizing. So please stay healthy and safe, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.